you're shaped by your past. When he joined the LA Dodgers, one man rose from nothing. He was thought to have moved on. He grew acclimated to the polished lifestyle as he climbed to popularity. The biggest surprise of his life came when he met a mysterious man. In 2021, Jimmy ruled the world. The 22-year-old LA Dodgers prospect was born and raised in LA. He was a community hero and a top performer. The city expected him to keep rising in his career. Jimmy wasn't always so happy. The truth, not known by many, was that Jimmy's past had very little to do with his life as a baseball star. His parents left him at a LA orphanage. His upbringing could not have predicted his future. He never learned who his parents were or why they left him. This shaped Jimmy's personality and life irreversibly. Jimmy had a brief period of luck in childhood. Jimmy was lucky to be adopted by two foster parents residing in the town of Pomona, a few minutes away from Los Angeles. Everyone got along in this loving home. Jimmy's troubled childhood found refuge there. Nothing was perfect, though. Family issues arose. Jimmy's foster family was loving but impoverished. They struggled to pay their landlord at one point. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. Evicted, they were homeless for months. Jimmy then turned to what seemed like his only hope. Jimmy found baseball then. This was his lifelong passion. He played baseball with street kids even though his family couldn't afford a team membership. One day, a person noticed his skills, physical prowess, and brazenness. Jimmy impressed a neighborhood celebrity and amateur team scout. He had pitching genius. After a street game, this man approached Jimmy. Jimmy's life changed after their conversation. The scout introduced himself and asked Jimmy his name, how long he had played baseball, and if he played for any local teams. Jimmy confessed that he had played on the street for a year. His family could not afford the joining fee, so he never played. The scouter asked more questions to learn more about Jimmy's past and present. Jimmy told him everything. He recounted his orphanage upbringing, adoption, and eviction. He said he was in a homeless shelter with his foster parents. Jimmy's story and baseball talent moved the scout. He immediately knew he had to help the kid. He had many local club contacts, fortunately. After praising his skills again and wishing him well, he began his plan. He called the right people and had lunch with them. He returned to Jimmy's spot a few weeks later. After the game, the scout approached Jimmy and told him he had been accepted into one of the local clubs. Jimmy quickly moved from amateur to professional teams. The LA Dodgers recruited him for their youth team. Jimmy accepted, started getting paid big bucks, and got himself and his family off the streets. Jimmy's fate held more. He quickly became a Dodgers first team candidate. Fame and wealth followed. His lifestyle changed 180 degrees. Jimmy's meteoric rise from Pomona to the pros was unprecedented. He sometimes doubted it. He dreamed of returning to the Pomona homeless shelter with his foster family. He would wake up thinking the dream was real. For a moment, he thought his baseball career and rise to the pros had been a dream. He was thrilled to head to training after remembering it wasn't. He believed these dreams held a secret. Jimmy would never forget his time in Pomona and the homeless shelter, no matter how different his life was now with his foster family. Jimmy thought the universe was telling him not to forget his roots through those recurring dreams. He acted. Jimmy organized a homeless benefit event because he and his foster parents had lived among them. Many LA homeless lived in an abandoned warehouse. He made warehouse workers the main guests. Jimmy learned that a strange person lived in the warehouse. Jimmy heard Marcus lived in the warehouse. Marcus was a homeless old man who sold his paintings on Los Angeles streets. His unconventional, eerie, and almost hypnotic art captivated many. Marcus became famous and wealthy thanks to his enigmatic paintings and loyal clientele. 
He was among Lar's wealthiest homeless. Some even said that he made enough money to get out off the streets, rent a studio apartment, and make a decent living as an artist. He stayed in that warehouse. Why? Marcus' motives and personal life were unknown. His past was unknown. He had never been robbed, despite his wealth and prominence in the homeless community. Everyone revered him. His legend spawned many tales. Some claimed Marcus was a disgraced millionaire. Others thought he was a fugitive thug. He may be a fugitive war criminal or bankrupt European nobleman. Jimmy's friends were hesitant to contact Marcus for the benefit event because he was so controversial. Jimmy was unafraid. Jimmy thought these rumors were rarely credible. Marcus could never be criticized. Though enigmatic and introverted, he was not dangerous. Supposedly. Jimmy liked Marcus' art and wanted to work with him to sell his paintings at the benefit event. He contacted him and waited. Marcus agreed. After negotiations with Jimmy's representatives, he wasn't expected at the event. Some found his enigmatic personality unsettling. He only talked about his paintings with Jimmy's representatives, so he wasn't interested in attending. He changed his mind last minute without telling anyone. Jimmy arrived late for his party. He didn't know Marcus was going to the party too. Jimmy arrived at the event at its peak. Marcus' cupcake-selling paintings made guests happy. This pleased Jimmy. He saw someone after shaking hands. He recognized Marcus standing before a stunned audience. Marcus gazed at him. Jimmy noticed something while staring at Marcus' face and eyes. Jimmy suddenly felt astonished and familiar. He stared at him, paralyzed. His eyes were astonished. He knew him. He suddenly recognized Marcus. Marcus was Jimmy's first coach, the man who nurtured his passion as a street kid. He helped Jimmy succeed quickly. Marcus had watched it from afar but had failed. Marcus disgraced. Job, girlfriend, and home were gone. He quit coaching baseball. He became a street painter. Traumatized, he refused to discuss his past with homeless people. Marcus initially didn't recognize Jimmy. He remembered their history after a short conversation. The teary-eyed student and master hugged. Jimmy then queried Marcus. Jimmy asked Marcus to coach baseball again. Jimmy's contacts helped Marcus land a professional coaching job and leave the streets. Marcus declined Jimmy's offer, crying. Marcus claimed he liked his street life. He loved his warehouse mates and art, but not money or success. He only asked Jimmy to keep his word and use the event's proceeds to help Los Angeles homeless. That happened. Marcus sold a lot of paintings at the benefit event. Jimmy donated all event proceeds to the commune and other Los Angeles homeless people. Marcus pursued his art as he wanted. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.